This is your News 4 update, powered by the Bomarito Automotive Group. Thanks for choosing News 4. All across the metro, preparations are underway as we brace for a major winter storm. We begin with Chief Meteorologist Steve Templeton monitoring these big weather changes. Steve. Yeah, and that winter storm actually starts off as rain. So here's the timeline in St. Louis. Just rain for Tuesday. It's Wednesday morning. We'll get our first hints of a wintry mix going from rain to sleet and freezing rain in the morning. Can be a little slick for that Wednesday morning commute. Wednesday afternoon, light snow, sleet, freezing rain. Kind of a mixed bag, but it looks a little lighter, kind of a lull before we get hit with the heaviest punch from this winter storm. That's going to come Wednesday night into Thursday morning. Heavy sleet switching over to all snow. And that's kind of the trick for the forecast in St. Louis is when do we convert to all snow? Because at that point, we could be dealing with some really heavy totals. But if we have a lot of sleet, that's going to keep the totals down. Where I don't expect as much sleet, you're going to have the higher snow totals. 8 to 12 inches, Troy to Bowling Green, areas to the northwest could even see over a foot. Areas in blue, including St. Charles County, 7 to 10. I have a plus sign. It's not out of the question. You get into a foot of snow in St. Charles County, a little light glazing of freezing rain and some sleet in the mix, too. Again, how much sleet you get will matter to those snow totals. I just think you're getting less sleet here compared to what we're going to get in St. Louis. And that's why this is probably the trickiest forecast as of now, because 4 to 8 Eight inches is the forecast with one to two inches of sleep. That is a lot of sleep. And the more sleep you have, the less snow you have. Now, if we don't get as much sleep, we convert right over to snow. It could even go over eight inches. So just a heads up, this is kind of the tricky transition zone, maybe a light glazing of ice. A tenth of an inch is a travel issue. When you get to about a quarter of an inch of freezing rain or what I call ice, and you get up to maybe a half an inch, that's this area highlighted in pink, plus winds that gust to maybe 30 miles an hour, that's when you get into power outages. So isolated power outages, Centerville, Farmington, maybe over to Chester and Sparta as well. That's the area where you get less snow, but you get more of that freezing rain and coupled with the winds, that could be a problem. So weather alert days, Wednesday, Thursday, while we could see some slick conditions as early as Wednesday morning, this storm really hammers us Wednesday night into Thursday morning. And even though it winds down in the afternoon, there will be lingering impacts because we're below freezing right into the weekend, really. So what ice, snow, sleet you get, it's gonna stick around. We're just at freezing by Saturday afternoon and barely above freezing by Sunday. Okay, Steve, thank you. MoDOT and IDOT crews are preparing for a long week ahead. IDOT tells us they will be working 12 hour days until at least Saturday to get the roads treated and cleared. They're putting together mixtures of brine and have more than 300,000 gallons on hand. They're also stocking up on their salt supply. News 4 has been checking in with schools as well to see if they're altering plans due to the expected weather. Both Rittner and Melville school districts say that they will go virtual if they are forced to cancel classes. And late this afternoon, Mizzou announced it will go virtual Wednesday and Thursday for the winter weather. Missouri Attorney General Eric Schmidt is seeking temporary restraining orders to halt mask mandates. He's already sued 45 districts across the state for their COVID protocols. Tonight's motion asks judges to halt mask mandates at three districts. Two of them are in this area, the St. Charles School District and the Ferguson Florissant School District. We're also told more restraining orders are quotes on the way, but the Attorney General's office didn't say when or how many. That is your news for update. Remember, we're always on at KMOV.com and on your KMOV News app.